do in class is the let's test homework, all right? That's always my intention, all right? So I want you to please pay attention, all right? And we're going back, all right? And uh, the assignment is section 3-11, page 202, numbers 1 through 37. All right. Now, listen, I really have to say I was kind of impressed. I think you're doing excellent at your fractions. All right. We have a fraction test at the end of the week. All right. Um, and again, I'm not too worried about it because you've been doing pretty well. All right. But again, fractions are super, super important. So I'd like everybody to kind of pay attention. If you know how to multiply, then you know how to do what? Divide. You know how to divide. Because multiplication and division are the same except for one rule. All right. Except for one rule. All right. You have to multiply by the reciprocal. You have to multiply by the reciprocal. So everybody take a look up here. We're going to go ahead and do all of these together. And then we'll go through the example of what? Of course we do. Oh, they, they just didn't want to admit it. I will be here on Monday. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. No, we're sad. We're sad. We're very sad. Very sad. Very sad. Very sad. Wait, what's the test for you? Oh, I won't be here. Yeah, I'm fine. Did you shout? I don't think so. Yes. All right. Now, here we go, guys. All right, so everybody take a look. Write down number one. Six divided by one. Solving multiplication problem, you multiply by the reciprocal. You multiply by the reciprocal. So basically, what does that mean? All right, so let's blow this up so we can see. So 6 divided by 1 third is the same as 6. The rule is you change division to multiplication. Come on. And then you take the reciprocal. Of the second. That's exactly right. You make it 3 over 1. All right? Now, don't forget, 6 is the same as 6 over 1 also. 6 is the same as uh, 6 over 1. Now, you just multiply. All right? If you could reduce, remember, you reduce diagonally, or you can reduce up and down. But in this case, none of that reduces. So, now you would just say 6 times 3 is... 1 times 1 is, so your answer is just what? 18. 18. Now, again, please ask questions. Go. Um, why is it different than 3 over 1? Is it 3 over 1? Because that's the rule. Yeah. That's, what you, that's what you do no matter what. Okay? So let me explain why that's true, though. All right? Watch this. All right? So I'm going to try to give a physical representation of what 6 divided by 1 third means. And then... You can kind of see, well, that's what they ended up doing is they realized the pattern. All right, so watch. All right, everybody take a look. So I'm taking 6, and I'm going to divide it into thirds. All right, so if I take 6 and divide it into thirds, does everybody agree that's what I just did? I took 6. And I divided it by third. So that means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So they knew the answer was what? They knew the answer was 18. But they couldn't figure out how did I how did how do you make 18 from 6 divided by 1 third? So they came up with this rule. They made an observation. They said, wow, I could just do 6 and multiply by the reciprocal. And that's the same as what this answer was up here. You with me now? So we're not like all division. Yeah, division <laughs> is multiplying by the reciprocal. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a simple way, all right? And once you apply it to the easy, you can apply it to the complex, and things work out. Three over one is three. All right. Three divided by one is three. All right. So technically, you could have just said six times three. Three over three is one. Three over three is one. All right. 
So now that you understand that a little better, all right, now we have the simple, we're just going to continue to apply it to the complex, all right? So this is equivalent to three-fifths times four-thirds. That is correct. You're changing division to what? And then you're taking the reciprocal. That's the rule. That's what you have to get into your head. All right? So when we do that, what now can happen to the threes? Yep. Three divided by three is one. Three divided by three is one. Everybody see that? And then nothing else can cancel. One times four. Five times one. Five. Now look, keep going if you understand. If you don't, look, just keep talking about it. Thomas, you with me? Is everybody with me? No, you do not change the first number. That's the rule. You multiply by the reciprocal. Always the second one. What? Always. Always. Take the reciprocal of the second fraction. So look over here. This is 8 over what? That's 8 over 1. So now I would do 3 fourths times what? Times 1 eighth. That's right. Do the reciprocal. Every time you see a division. So that's equal to 3 over 32 because, again, nothing to reduce. Nothing to reduce. It's really simple. I don't understand why anybody has trouble with fractions. Alright, but there are lots of problems for people with fractions. And like I said, they're just rules you have to remember. Alright? Yeah, definitely adding and subtracting is hard. Alright, so now again, you have to remember, occasionally we're going to throw in a positive and a negative. But we know a negative divided by a negative is always a, or I'm sorry, a negative divided by a positive is always a negative. All right, same rules. So now we're going to write over here negative 5 ninths times 5 over 2. Is everybody okay with that? Can anything reduce? Yes. So my final answer right now is negative 25 over 18. Tell me again. Yes. So the negative times a positive is a what? Negative. Yes. Yes. We're going to make it a mixed fraction now. So how many times does 18 go into 25? Four. Right, so that's negative 1. And from 18 to 25 is how much? 7. Negative 1 and 7 18. Can you also keep writing them down? Yeah, keep writing them down. All right. So now let's take a look at question number 5. So here we would say 5, 6. Divided by ten thirds. You have to do that first. That's what makes it hard. All right. Go bear with me. Because remember, you do three times three plus one. You see what I mean? Now, once I've done that, you guys, come on now. Give me time. Give me some time. The first thing I'm asking you right now about is, do you understand where ten thirds came from? Okay, so now I'm not even on the second step and you're asking me questions. You good so far? Okay, now is when you rewrite it. Now you're going to say 5 6 times what? 3 over 10. And the what? Right, so now I just have to be careful and do the reducing. So here we go. So 5 goes into 5 once. 5 goes into 10. 3 goes into 3. 3 goes into 6 twice. 
So it is 1 times 1, 2 times 2, so your answer is 1 fourth. And I always like to go back, positive times a positive is a what? Everybody happy with that? Layton, you good? Yes. Thomas, you feeling good? Yeah. All right, girls, you all right? Yeah. All right, here we go. So now, again, you got to be careful because, again, we have mixed fractions, so I always got to change them to improper. Yes. Well, come on, let's work it together. All right? Let me do the first ones. All right, then I know everything you know, and then when we get to the next set of problems, that's when I let the kids do it. All right? So tell me about 5 and 5 eighths. That's the same as what? That's correct. That's the same as 45 over 8. No, not yet. Divided by 9 over 2. Perfect. Now we rewrite it as? Beautiful. All right, is everybody with me on this? Now we start doing our reducing. So 2 goes into 2. 2 goes into 8. 9 goes into 9. And 9 goes into 45. Is everybody happy with that? So your answer is correct. 5 over 4. Now we don't say we reduce, but we change it to a mixed number, which is 1 and 1 fourth. So we agree that's not that hard. Yeah. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at number seven. So if I write it as a improper fraction, it would be? It would be five times ten, which is 50 plus four is 54. 54 over five divided by? Okay. Five times five, which is 25. Is correct. So now let's take a look. 54 over 5 times <coughs> 5 over 27. Is everybody good with that? Yeah, now be careful with that one. 27 goes into 27, and 27 goes into 54. Does everybody see that? That was kind of hard to see. If you knew that, that's good. 2 times 27 is 54. Yep, 5 goes into 5, 5 goes into 5. So your final answer is 2 over 1, which is 2. Does anybody agree with that? Does anybody agree with that being 2? Does anything else make 2? Is itself. It literally means 2 divided by 1. All right, everybody's happy? All right, let's look at number 8. So you should be able to quickly tell me 2 and 1 tenth is 21. 21 over 10. Is anybody still struggling with that at all? 21 over 10 is good. Now, in this case, there's no improper, or there's no mixed fraction, so I can just now just do what? Times, thank you very much, 5 over 3. Yep, yep, and? Right, seven over two. What did you hold up? Hold up. That's okay. Three and one half. I'm pretty happy about that. I told you, not hard, right? Yeah, I don't care about the word problem right now. We're gonna come back and do that. Um, let me um, pause it. Just gonna write them over. All right, then we'll pass it out. How about that? Does that sound all right? All right.